be a part of history and subscribe to my two YouTube channels and join the 100,000 pharaohs that exist. And of course, follow me on Twitch as I create a radio station from the ground up. They ain't never seen a young black reporter coming like this. Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? Now, now here's where I play devil's advocate. Y'all know I come on here and take up for my people more times than not. But this is where I play devil's advocate. We, if we want to grow our businesses, right? If black people want to prosper, certain things we just got to come out of. We just got to cut some of that BS out because it's just unprofessional and uncalled for, right? So Cardi B is killing ish right now. I mean, literally everything the girl touches, it's a hit right now. She's got like three top five, what, three, five top 20 records right now. Everything Cardi B is on right now is, is, is incredibly successful. I am happy for her. One thing we know about Cardi B is she really, really came from the bottom. We all know about her stripper background and has made it to the top of her industry. And I'm very happy for her, right? But here's the problem because cardi b does do this cardi b has hit up a couple blog sites right and complained about the negative feedback that she gets in her comment section and cardi b has complained about how she's regular and she's not having to deal with hollywood superstar stuff and certain things i get she's a female in this industry of rap and she's getting criticism that she just simply doesn't deserve and I, I'm, I'm with her 100% on that. That's ridiculous, some of the things that that woman has to go through. Any woman in hip-hop, it's ridiculous how men try to plot them against other women. I don't care if it's a straight gay, whatever, man. If you got men out here trying to plot her against other women, and I think that's ridiculous. But when a woman like Cardi B brings it upon herself to, to enter, entertain this energy, and nobody's going to call her out like this. Y'all know all the radio personalities, they need a Cardi B interview. They need a Cardi B to do their show. And I get it. It's, it's cool. But I, I just think this needs to be called out because this doesn't need to happen, right? And, and again, all respect to Cardi B. But here's what happened. Cardi B, obviously her boyfriend is Blood, Offset, um, or Fiance, rather, whatever you want to call it. Cardi B has been tied to a lot of Bloods. Heck, she claims it herself. I'm not sure if, if she's Blood, but one would assume she's very tied to it. And she always wears red. Obviously, she she she's very tied to and affiliated to that gang right and she she posted this picture on her social media it's her and obviously a blue i don't know if you want to call it a blue fur whatever it is i can't afford anything like it so i don't really know what it is i guess it's a blue fur blue dress whatever right and she put this caption on it she said i hate wearing flu but this coat was too popping now flu is disrespectful to crips and y'all and, and for every crip that Subscribe to me. Y'all know I don't mean any disrespect. I'm just trying to get the story out there. I don't go, I don't disrespect any gang. I don't want no smoke, no problems. It's just not what I'm into. And Cardi, a lot of Crips hit her comment section. And just to read you a few of the comments, because she's now disabled, but I got a hold of a couple of them. Um, one Crip was like, hashtag don't come to LA. This will not be accepted. Now, and then another one said, now why are you going to do this fuck shit, Cardi? This is literally West Coast suicide. Bitch better get neutral. Like, there was a, a lot of crazy comments that came in her direction. Cardi turned her comment section off on this picture. She kept the picture up. She just turned the comments off of it. Now, one would be like, dang, y'all dudes took it a little far because it's a woman, you know what I mean? But if they don't play about they set, they don't play about they set. Now, I don't even agree with gangs in general. But to disrespect them, I, I just think that's ridiculous. Like, why bring that energy? And there's going to be somebody out there be like, yo, they don't do this with somebody else. Regular post disrespectful. They don't go get what up with the... Well, the regular dude ain't got the platform that Cardi B got. If a guy that's in the similar... If Drake... And I'm not comparing Drake to Cardi B, but if Drake did some disrespectful like this, they'd be on his ass too in his comment section. It's just ridiculous to even put this energy in the atmosphere. Like I said, Cardi B deals with enough social media backlash. Why even try... Why even put that out there? Like, why even open yourself up to more scrutiny do i believe something's gonna happen to cardi no i hope n i hope not but let's make it clear they don't play that on the west coast and all-star weekend is coming up and cardi's booked out there for a lot of uh festivities that happens in, in a little over a week i just think this is unnecessary i know i'm probably gonna be one of the only outlets to call her out on it but uh she's receiving a lot of backlash because she decided to, to disrespect some crypt and got in her and and they got in her comment section we'll see if uh she can smooth things over but i just like i said 
as businesses, as black businesses, when I when I call you black businesses, if you can make a hundred grand in thirty minutes, you're a business, right? You're a business, a big time profitable business, and certain things gotta be put to the side. I know Cardi B is really not into the celebrity aspect of it, but here we are. We're here now. Cardi's a superstar celebrity. She's not just half famous. She's going on tour with Bruno Mars. She's very famous, and certain things have to come with that, whether you like it or not. You're an influencer now. People look up to you. Kids look up to you. People watch your profile, right? Especially with the little Instagram, the little settings they got nowadays. She's probably the first profile that comes up on a lot of people pages. People probably page watch. I'm pretty sure some Crips and other sets like your pictures. So your pictures come up on the timeline. People are gonna see you more than they're gonna see someone else. Why even entertain his energy? I just think it's childish. That's my opinion. Mr. Telefero, thank you for the time, love, support. What y'all think about some Crips kind of calling out Cardi B for disrespecting their set? Y'all talk to me, comment box below. Thank you for the time, love, support. Salute. Mm -hmm. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.